Hi everyone, welcome to Paul's World Geography. This channel is all about geography. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to see many upcoming new episodes. Thank you and enjoy. Today, we will start our fifth video in the eight part series on the continents. Almost done. In the course of this entire series, we will look at all seven continents in Oceania, one episode at a time. Oceania is not considered a continent, but it is a region of the world, and that fact will make it extra interesting. Today's video is on the continent of Australia. Let's get started and find out what things look like down under. Australia is the smallest continent in land area and is the second smallest continent in population size. Australia is the only continent that is also considered a country. This continent does not border any other continents, but is completely surrounded by the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The highest mountain located in Australia is Mount Kosciuszko, with a height of 7,310 feet. This mountain is located in the main range, which is part of the Snowy Mountains. So why would an Australian mountain be named after a famous pole? The mountain was discovered by Pawel Edmund Strzelecki, a Polish explorer in 1840. He named the mountain after General Kosciuszko, who was famous during the Polish-Lithuanian Uprising of 1794, and before that, had fought in the American War of Independence as a volunteer. Less than two years ago, a local tribe proposed that the mountain should be returned back to its original name, Kunama Namaji, which means Snow Mountain. Another magnificent formation located in the Northern Territory of Australia is Uluru Rock, which some people also call Ayers Rock. The formation is made out of sandstone and the area surrounding it has rock caves and ancient paintings. Uluru is 2,831 feet, which is even taller than the Eiffel Tower. In 2019, climbing on the rock was banned due to erosion concerns and that some tribes call the formation sacred. Lake Erie is a lake located in the deserts of Central Australia, in the state of South Australia. In 2012, the name of the lake was changed to include the aboriginal name of the lake, Kaifanda. This lake is the lowest natural point on the continent, which is 49 feet below sea level. One magnificent feature of the lake is its extraordinary salinity. When a major flood occurs, the salt crust in the lake dissolves releasing more salt into the lake. Over time, while the water evaporates, the salt concentrations in the lake increase and becomes even saltier than seawater. The lake receives about three to five inches of rainfall per year, and sometimes the lake can turn pink. Next up, we have two major rivers, the Darling and the Murray. The Darling River is the third longest river with a length of about 900 miles which mostly traverses the state of New South Wales. The source of the river is in a few streams located in the Great Dividing Range, which is one of the largest mountain chains located on the continent. The Darling River then joins the Murray River. The Murray River is the largest river in the country of Australia and on the continent. The length of the river is about 1,550 miles, and the source of the river is in Australian Alps. More than 1,200 miles of this river is navigable, just behind the Amazon and the Nile. One magnificent feature, which is off the coast of Australia, is the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system, stretching over 1,400 miles. That is huge. This reef is also the world's largest single structure made entirely by organisms. Around 9,000 species of different organisms live in this biome. Some parts of the reef have suffered tremendously from changes in climate. You can actually see the Great Barrier Reef from outer space. The largest state on the continent of Australia and in the country is Western Australia, while the smallest is Tasmania, which is an island separated from Australia by the Bass Strait. The most populous city in the country and on the continent is Sydney, with over 5 million people. The northern part of Australia has a warm Mediterranean climate. The middle of Australia has a hot and dry desert climate, 
and to the east, there is an oceanic climate. Australia is home to a wide variety of different species, some unique to that environment. Some include the kangaroo, the koala, the platypus, echidna, the Tasmanian devil, wombat, kookaburra, and the dingo. Fun fact time. Australia is the flattest and the driest of all seven continents. Australia is the world's largest island, even though it is a small continent. Lastly, the country of Australia has the largest number of deserts in the world. Ten deserts cover the country, which accounts for 18% of the land area in Australia. Well, that's the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. For our next video, bundle up because we will be exploring the cold continent of Antarctica.